Laser Lee here from Man Science of Southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island with the answer to this week's science question. Uh, this week's science question was all about models. When scientists want to study something uh, that's too big or too small or just too difficult to study in real life, uh, they often use models, uh, a representation of the item that they would normally study. Uh, in this case, the question was about what would make a good model uh, to discover the layers of the Earth. Uh, the choices were a spherical rock, a hard-boiled egg, or a log. Hi, this is Atomic Allen, Chief Mad Scientist at Mad Science in Southern Massachusetts in Rhode Island. I know you're waiting for the video answer to this week's question, but before we give you that answer, let me ask you another question. I built a contraption here. It's just two pieces of wood connected together with a hinge. And I've got a stick that I can put in here to hold this one piece of wood up. Now, if I were to put a golf ball on the tee that's right there, when I pull this stick out, the board is going to fall, and the question is, what's going to happen to the golf ball? So again, I just have a board that's hinged, and I'm going to prop it up, and then I'm going to put a golf ball on a tee at the end. I'm going to then remove the stick, and the question is, what's going to happen to the golf ball? Why don't you go watch the answer to this week's question, and when you come back, I'll show you. Now, a rock might be made of the things that the Earth is made of, but it doesn't tell us that much about the different layers of the Earth, necessarily. Um, same thing with a log. Uh, maybe a cross-section of a log has good examples of layers, uh, but it's not really representational of the Earth. However, a hard-boiled egg, uh, proportionally, uh, what an egg is made of, is a very good model for what the Earth would look like. If we take a cross-section of a hard-boiled egg, this would also be a very good example of the cross-section of the Earth. For example, uh, if you compare both of these, the shell of the egg represents the Earth's crust, which is where the rocks on the Earth are typically found. The white of our egg represents the mantle of the Earth, which is made of molten rock. The yolk of our egg represents the Earth's core, which is made of white-hot metal. So again, of the three choices, our egg would probably make the best model for studying the layers of the Earth. So thank you again to all of those of you who participated. Tune in again Monday for another question and Friday for another answer. Hey, welcome back. Remember my rig? Just a board connected by a hinge. I put a golf ball on the tee. And what do you think is going to happen? golf ball went in the cup. How can that possibly be? Newton taught us that the acceleration due to gravity is the same on everything. So if it's the same on everything, why does the, how can the cup possibly get down before the golf ball? They're both falling at the same rate. Well, that's not really true. The center of gravity for the board and the center of gravity for the ball are going to fall at the same rate. They're going to move just as fast. But notice that the center of gravity for the board is probably back here someplace. So it only has that far to fall. The ball has that far to fall. So if they accelerate at the same rate, the board's going to get down a lot faster than the ball does. Well, how does the ball end up in the cup? I made a very simple plumb bob. This is so that I can find out exactly where this ball is. So I'm going to put this right here, right through the center of the ball. And that's going to tell me that the ball is right over that spot. So when the ball falls, it's going to fall straight down to that spot. Let's see what that spot is. That's where the cup is. One more time. And hopefully the cup will catch it this time. It won't just bounce out. Here we go. There we go. The ball landed right where that marker was. There you go. I hope you got the right answer. Thanks for watching.